Coach Pelfrey, um, heading into this season, what are you most looking forward to? Well, I just really like this group of guys, and um, I want to see uh, you know how much we've grown as a program. We put a lot of heavy lifting and work in uh, the last couple of years, and uh, we've just got a, a really challenging schedule and a, and a great league. I uh, just want to kind of see how we how we're doing. Um, like I said, I really enjoy uh, our team. Our, we got great young men. Um, they're all about leadership, books, ball, and professionalism. And um, I think, you know, when the games come, it's an opportunity for us to find out, like I said, how good we are, um, but probably more importantly, uh, where we need to get better. What is it in particular that you like most about your team this year? Well, I'm very appreciative um, and of the relationship that I have with the nine guys that are coming back to our team. Um, they believe in what we're doing and how we're doing it. They see themselves getting better, setting standards of work uh, for themselves to try to create value um, in their abilities to play basketball and to be young men and young leaders. Um, but they're also humble enough to recognize that, you know what, uh, coach, go out and do a good job of recruiting because we need some guys to come in and help us as well. And I just think that's a totally different place. We've been here in the past. Um, these guys have – really welcomed our five newcomers um, and tried to help them understand how we do things, model the correct behavior for them. Uh, and that's really powerful when you have a player-run program. Um, myself, the other coaches, we can't always be around. Um, and I just love how these guys look after and take care of each other and coach each other, quite honestly. Uh, going off of that, what is one important thing that must happen for your team to be successful this year? Well, I'll give you two. How about that? Um, first thing is, is we've got to put in the work. And that's, you know, that goes without saying anything in life. Everybody loves a planning phase. It's exciting. Uh, you get a lot of energy from it. But at the end of the day, the planning phase, you're probably sitting down. It's probably a really comfortable room. You probably got your favorite food, nice drink, whatever. And, um, you know, that, that's that's kind of the easy part. Everybody loves to make great plans. Well, we're no longer in the planning phase. We, we, it's, it's time to take action. It's 6 a.m. The alarm clock's going off. Um, that's where a lot of people get separated. So uh, we've, one, got to put in the work. We've got great human beings in our program, okay? Um, so the next thing for us is in the heat of battle, when things get hard, are we going to stick together? Are we really going to have these deep root relationships where we understand each other? We care about each other. Uh, we're compassionate and kind. Uh, or are we going to separate, divide, and go our, our own ways? Um, that second option doesn't work in team sports, and it really doesn't work in life. So those will be the two things that will be the most important for us. Will we put in the work necessary to be able to compete one of the most competitive environments in college, which is called college basketball. And we'll be able to stay together, keep our eyes on the team and not worry about ourselves. Going off of that, what is the biggest challenge that you see for this upcoming season? Well, I think, you know, there's obviously a lot of challenges come through every single day. One will be our, you know, the ability to show up and practice and, and, you know, not have an entitled mindset and tired today. You know, why are we doing this again? All, everybody faces those challenges, the boredom of every day, the grind, uh, getting through it. Um, but to build the ability to, you know, then take on games because all the your opponents will probably be a little bit different uh, to be able to, to digest a game plan, a strategy, and then to be go out there together and do it to see how you measure up that night and that evaluation. Uh, but, you know, one of the things that was a real challenge for us last year, um, besides COVID, was staying healthy. And um, you could, there's a lot of things you can do to prepare for that, but there's a lot of things you can't. Injuries, foul trouble, fatigue, those things are all part of the game. And uh, so we're just going to need to have a bit of good fortune as well there just to stay away from the injury bug. Talking about uh, the, the competition, um, looking at the OVC as a whole, what are your general impressions on the conference uh, competition for this upcoming season? Well, I think it's a really good league. It's been a competitive league. It's 
the really well coached league. Now we've got even more new coaches who are coming in here hungry, looking for their opportunity. The biggest challenge with this league right now, um, and I'm not you know familiar with any of the other leagues around the country as much as I am this one, there's a lot of players coming back uh, to these programs. For example, Belmont has everybody back from a team that, you know, lost three games. Um, well, they've lost three games like in two years in our league, uh, you know, and so on and so forth around the league. So that's going to be the challenge uh, for to me that makes this, this league so challenging this year is that um, you're going to find a lot of veteran basketball teams that are really well coached.